Young kids, I won't even talk to them anymore because you parents have done such a bang up job. <laughs> if I meet one more kid and ask him what he wants to do when he gets older and he replies, I'll be famous like you, I'm gonna kick him in his teeth. <laughs> You're never gonna be famous. Never. <laughs> you have no chance. <laughs> This dude is right. You're never yeah, gonna nigga, be famous. He took fucking never. kids to a whole new level, bro. Nigga, bro, what he said, look at his face. He's dead so ass. mad. Like, he dead ass. You'll be... never be famous in your life. Stop saying that. Yo. What's up, what's up, y'all, man? We back with another reaction video. Yo. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, it is your boys, Smoke County JK up in the building. I am Jay. Presume. And we uh, back with another reaction video, man. How do 90% of Americans have jobs? <gasps> By Daniel Tosh, the comedian. Bro. We never reacted yeah. to Daniel Tosh, the comedian, but we have seen people comment over and over about the offending everybody. Yeah. You know, uh, video that we posted that's going viral. We about to react to actually Daniel Tosh, as y'all was talking about. Man, like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell, because your boys are here for a good time and a long time. And enjoy the show, ladies and gentlemen. What we about to do? Um, you can about to jump in this, jump in this, jump in this, jump in and get into it. <laughs> All right. Got the video up. Let's go, let's go. It is great to be here in America. <laughs> yeah. The greatest country in the world. You're not American? If you haven't traveled a lot. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to constantly <laughs> scream we're number one? It's always the people that live in the most boring parts of this country that scream the loudest. People in Kansas. That's fact. We're the greatest That's... country in the world. It's like, do you guys have internet there? <laughs> you ever seen a photo of Fiji? <laughs> I've never been to Fiji, but I've seen photos. It looks pretty amazing. It's hard to think we're better than that. We're top 10. Maybe if we started screaming that every day, maybe terrorists would stop trying to saw our heads off. <laughs> We're top 10. And they'd be like, that's fair. <laughs> that's true as fuck. Oh, that that's true as fuck. Because think about it. Like, when you flexing your money and stuff like that, yeah. when you flexing about something you got, or you flexing about being number one or something, they'd be like, it don't be people that be, it'd be people that be envious. And that'd be wanting to like, wanting like, yeah, you know, like get over on you, want to steal from you, want to do all type of shit to yeah. you because you keep bragging about being number one. And that's what America does. Oh! <laughs> Right. So we did, we just claim we're top 10 and he's just like, okay, well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. That's so funny though. America is like that. that. Is, and that it do be the most born ass states. This one? Like, bro, states, yeah. Like, nigga, like, <laughs> the states that, like, the states that everybody be loving to go to and stuff like that, they did not be talking they, about, they don't be claiming America like they, they everybody don't, be, bro. for real, for real. That's Number one silly, stuff bro. that was getting old. America's basically turned into one of these factories where we just have a sign up. Like, it's been 22 days since our last horrible thing. And it's like, oh, all right, rip it down. We're back at zero again. <laughs> these things just keep happening. You know, whether it's Ferguson or Baltimore. I can solve racist cops. That's an easy fix. But nobody comes to me for the answers. You want to get rid of that forever? How about this? Only black people should be allowed to be cops. Boom, problem solved. Hey. And if any of you have issue with this, it's because you're racist. <laughs> well, what about white people? White people can be firefighters. We're more outdoorsy, it makes sense. It do make sense. Black people be in bro, More cause we be in the streets. They be the black people be in the streets for real. Oh, and they and then the firefighters really be knowing the outdoor. That so makes so much. This nigga it is all one. We all one. Whoa. That's White people to... firefighters, black people cops. Who wants tickets to the softball game now? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get pretty tense. Might want to put in a mercy rule. And the next time we have one of these tragedies, inevitably we will, and you happen to be so unfortunate enough to know the person that's being accused of the crime, do us all a favor and don't get on TV the next day and be like, I lived next to him for 32 years. <laughs> I never could have seen this coming. 
Maybe you should be locked up for six months. <laughs> I find nothing more disrespectful. You never could have seen it coming. I've never met anyone in my entire life that I couldn't wrap my brain around the fact that they are capable of awful things. Literally no one. My mom could blow up a nursery. <laughs> and if you put me on TV the next day and I was completely honest with myself, I'd be like, I can fucking see it. Exactly, bro. Who would no. say that? Who would bro, say they I can, can see it? I can fucking see it. His own see. point, though. Like, who, who would literally say... I'd be like, I can. I, I lived next to him for 32 that. years. I, I would never seen it coming. Like he was, and if you seen it coming, then what? You would have. It wouldn't have been 32 years. He never fucking talked. It to wouldn't. Him, been, it would never took that long. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Sometimes when I was a kid, I'd come home from school. No, it makes sense. Sometimes when I was a kid, I'd come home from school. She wasn't happy to see me. I think she hates children. Ladies, know that every man you're sitting next to tonight, if you could get into their head and see every thought they have ever had, you would immediately pull out a gun and blow your head off. Because trust me, they're capable of anything. All day long, every day, nothing but twisted, weird, awful shit is just going round and round and round. And what do you do at night? You snuggle up next to them because you're so happy that you're not alone. Whoa. And I think that says more about you. <laughs> that notion that your parents raised you on stand by your man, if you're insane. The second your man gets accused of anything, you immediately distance yourself. Just be like, I don't know what the fuck he's into. <laughs> buy clothes in the next town, we'll forgive you. By the way, I do love this country. We're the only place with any diversity. The entire planet's segregated. You realize that when you watch international sports. Like I was trying to watch the World Cup, uh, despite hating it. <laughs> I get it, soccer's the most popular sport on the planet. That's because half the world can't afford AC. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's about how long you have to run just to get tired enough to fall asleep in these godforsaken countries. Oh! Wow! Oh, 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 oh. Nigga said ain't nothing else to do but go outside and kick go a ball. <laughs> Nigga said ain't nothing else better to do shit. What? Wow. <laughs> I never thought You ever try that. to gamble on soccer? What's the over-under? 0.5? Mm. <laughs> How much time's left? It's a secret. I'm out. <laughs> oh, God. But we have diversity. Other teams don't. Or if you look at the Olympics, you look at our uh, U.S. gymnastics squad. We have an Asian girl, a white girl, a black girl. Look at the Chinese squad. Any guesses? <laughs> Did you guess exclusively Chinese bitches? <laughs> yeah, that's all that's ever been on that team. That's all that will ever be on that team. And they wonder why they're not getting golds anymore. Well, you better get a Harlem in China. <laughs> you think snapping together iPads all day is tough? Bro, he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> he's, right. he's actually, hey, okay, okay, he, yeah. okay, okay, he won the ones, all right, baby. You think snapping together iPads all day is tough? <laughs> it is not as tough as it used to be. Now they have suicide nets around their building so they can jump out, bounce right back. Sorry, boss, just need some fresh air. <laughs> that is what they, that, that's, that's, that, that's common. Back to making Americans more stuff? You got it. This is a tough joke to do as a white comedian, but here goes. Because where this country is now from where we came from is pretty remarkable. There's nothing more shameful in our country's past than slavery. Okay, that's horrible. But I've grown up in a generation They be acting like it didn't happen. They be acting like it was just too long ago. Yeah, that fight. Like, shit, they be acting like it wasn't the worst thing that could actually happen. And it vitalized black people my entire life. They are but I've grown up in a generation where I've idolized black people my entire life. They are better at everything. So the fact that we pulled off slavery, I've already said it's awful. That's off the table. I'm just saying it's kind of neat. I mean, at any point they could have been like, you know we can just run away, right? Oh, oh, that is what that nigga said on everybody, on offending everybody. 
Oh, you talking about on the um the stereotype? This, we the, just oh, did Christ. it. We just watched it. That's what, that's what they were that's talking why about. They were, oh. That's what y'all was talking about. You will never catch us. Just run away, right? And you will that. never catch us. Oh. And if you do, we will beat the living shit out of you. That's exactly. All right. That's about how well that joke should go over. There's a fine line between appreciating the sarcasm and ooh, this feels like a rally. <laughs> you did well. That's a joke I do not do everywhere. That's a joke if the audience gets a little too excited, I shut it down. You start hearing a couple yee haws, troubles a brewing. As soon as yee haw hits a certain octave, hate crime in T minus 10, 9. The unemployment rate in our country is around six and a half percent. I'm told that's pretty good. I could care less. <laughs> I wish a president would have the balls to say what I'm about to. Oh, he said it! Yeah, I could care less. Yeah. Uh, I wish a president would have the balls to say what I'm about to. Ten percent of Americans don't deserve jobs. Good night. <laughs> like, that's a number I can get my head around. Of course, there's exceptions to that. That's not who we're talking about. But if you don't think 10% of Americans are lazy pieces of shit, then you have never traveled anywhere. <laughs> because the number that blows me away is that over 90% of Americans have jobs. Who the fuck is hiring you morons? <laughs> because I wouldn't. The sense of entitlement, everyone thinks they deserve more than they have. No one's content. Young kids, I won't even talk to them anymore because you parents have done just a bang up job. If I meet one more kid and ask him what he wants to do when he gets older, and he replies, I'll be famous like you, I'm going to kick him in his teeth. <laughs> You're never going to be famous. Never. <laughs> you have no chance. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Sorry, just do what is right. You're never yeah, going to be famous. He took fucking never. kids to a whole new level, bro. Nigga, bro, he's <laughs> look at his face. He's dead so ass. mad. Like, he dead ass. You will never be famous in your life. Stop saying that. I want to be famous. Grow up. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> I want to be famous. You're not. <laughs> you will never be. I didn't get here because I work hard. I have a gift from God. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everybody gets their 15 minutes of fame, buddy. Excuse me? That's an average. Yeah, that's zero for you, 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 you. Zero, 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 zero. 20 years, zero, 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 zero. Everybody gets 15 minutes. You know Andy Warhol was on drugs when he said that, right? He didn't think he'd be quoted for the rest of eternity, let alone taken seriously as an artist. You ever go into like a cute Thanks. local cafe and an artist has their work for sale on the walls. Has anybody ever not walked up, looked at the price, and gone, who the fuck do they think they are? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought about fuck, that. Why is the price so damn high in this restaurant? <laughs> I'm like, wait. Why you even have it in here then? Just once, He's I'd like right. to walk into somebody's home and be like, wow, that is a beautiful piece. Where did you get it? And they're like, oh, funny story. I was getting a spinach wrap the other day for lunch, and I had $750 burning a hole in my pocket. And I was like, hey, guys, unbolt this from your urinal and get it into my living room. Literally, bro. Literally. Oh. You know Literally. the unemployment rate in China is? Neither do I, because I'm American. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> it's got to be low, right? Those people get up at three in the morning to practice the violin for four and a half hours. Then they work on math for 12 hours and whatever's left, they're ninjas. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, he's stupid, bro. Bro, bro, this thing is funny, bro. This thing... If you think for one second we will ever catch up with them, you are out of your mind. <laughs> Just sit at home and be patient until they take over. And quite frankly, they deserve our country. I go, oh, shit, China's here. Do we take off our shoes? How does this work? <laughs> oh, wow. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, 
Oh uh, shit, try this here, dude. We take off our shoes. shoes. How does this work? You, hey, hey. He, he. <laughs> I'm seeing, I'm seeing the uh, difference. You see, yeah, you see, that. you see where that, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He put a little spin on his, and he, he but he, you see where he got inspiration from. Yeah, you see, yeah. he's good. Yeah. All right, all right, y'all, y'all were right, y'all were right. It wasn't bar, for, it was, yeah, it was bar for bar, but it was animation versus real life. You know what I'm saying? So they both were great, though. I ain't gonna lie, this guy was funny, bro. Yeah, he that was... guy was funny, bro. He's like, oh, turn this shit. Do you need to take your shoes off? He said, the kids. He said, you will never be famous. <laughs> <laughs> you will never be, bro. Like, that's so accurate. You think I work hard? No, I have a gift. Like, bro, <laughs> you will never and get that, like this. That is so true. Like, <laughs> zero, 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 twenty, zero, zero, zero. That's the average. That's funny, Woo. though, bro. All right, Daniel Tosh, man. How do 90% of Americans have jobs? That's a good one, man. Yeah, Thank y'all for great. watching. Uh, make sure y'all do some suggestions, some comments. Y'all know how it go, man. Make sure y'all go yeah. ahead and like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell because your boys are here for a good time in a long time. Long time, long time. And with that being said, Smoke County JK. It's your boy Jay. Chris L. And we are out of here.